Hello, I'm State Treasurer Tim Cahill, Chairman of the Massachusetts School Building Authority. As Chairman of the MSBA and State Treasurer, it is my goal to continue to find ways to fund and build educationally sound schools in an efficient and cost-effective manner. Over the past few months, the MSBA has undertaken an exciting new initiative called the Model School Program. The Model School Program seeks to adapt and reuse the design of successful, recently constructed schools for districts in need of a new building. We believe this program is a fiscally responsible approach to school building and will serve the Commonwealth by benefiting not only the taxpayer, but also administrators, teachers, and students. The MSBA carefully selected the Whitman Hanson Regional High School as the first model school because it features many of the standards I just mentioned. It is an efficient design that is easy to maintain and incorporates sustainable green elements that are already yielding impressive long-term savings for local taxpayers. Now I would like to invite you on a virtual tour of the Whitman Hanson Regional High School. The Whitman Hanson High School is considered a leading example of educational and environmental design in the country. The advanced design allowed the school to be built on time and on budget with a record low number of change orders while creating the best learning and teaching environment possible. For these reasons, the Whitman Hanson High School was chosen as a model school by the Massachusetts School Building Authority. The school's success in creating a superior, efficient learning environment for over 1,200 students starts with a compact, multi-level floor plan that reduces the amount of land needed and lowers construction costs. By clustering rooms serving the same program elements, the design shortens travel time between classes and reduces quarter lengths. The same consideration went into vertically arranging learning spaces with similar programs, sizes and features, which lowered building costs by simplifying construction and utilities. By orienting the learning areas around a central courtyard Instead of sprawling classroom wings, the school can easily be expanded to meet demand while never compromising the overall character and organization of the building. Likewise, the school's cafeteria and music rooms are located on the building's perimeter, allowing them to be expanded and contracted based on student enrollment without impacting the integrity of the learning areas. And hallways, stairs, and other common areas are given generous amounts of space to create a greater sense of openness and better flow of students. The Whitman Hanson High School is known for its attractive exterior and classical details. Inexpensive but substantial masonry materials give the illusion that granite and limestone were used on the front of the building. The less public sides are more modest, keeping costs at a minimum. Creating the best learning environment possible was one of the most important criteria in the design of the Whitman Hanson High School. Adopting the latest energy-efficient, environmentally-friendly practices was equally important in the design of the building. It is another major reason why the MSBA chose Whitman Hanson High School as a model school building. The school is oriented carefully to maximize the available sunlight for heat, power, and light. Great consideration was given to the placement of the classrooms to allow the use of daylight as much as possible. Large skylights are used in the cafeteria to maximize natural light. The library was placed in the front of the building to take full advantage of the sun throughout the day. These uses of natural light can reduce lighting costs by as much as $100,000 a year. The sun is also a source of power for the school. Solar panels mounted on the roof provide additional energy during peak hours and reduce energy costs further by as much as 5%. To promote water conservation, rainwater is collected from the roof and reused in the bathrooms, which use low-flow toilets and sinks. And the school features a reactionary HVAC system that adjusts to the number of people in the building and in each classroom, conserving energy and reducing utility costs. All of the successful innovative elements that make Whitman Hanson a premier learning environment and the standard of efficient, low-cost design and construction can be easily adapted to the needs of other school districts. Using the model school building program created by the Massachusetts School Building Authority will provide your school district with a building that will encourage learning and teaching, lower costs, and be a proud part of your community. Hello, I'm Katherine Craven, Executive Director of the Massachusetts School Building Authority. Treasurer Cahill and the board of the MSBA are committed to funding cost-effective schools in order to create a financially sustainable school building program for the state. 
the model school program is just one of the innovations that the MSBA hopes to employ to achieve this goal. The MSBA has instituted proven cost-saving measures which have already saved state and local taxpayers billions of dollars. And we will continue to work diligently with communities to explore even more methods of being cost-effective while meeting your educational goals. Our budget is limited, the needs are great, but there is a better way to repeat success and our model school program is one of our tools to do just that. On behalf of the Massachusetts School Building Authority, thank you for taking the time to tour our model school.